Hey YouTube, welcome to another video with Drew Brew. Uh, I know if you've been watching the channel, you probably have seen a lot of bearings by now. Let me just tell you, pause the video right now and see if you can see anything different. Alright? Uh, if you did pause, check this out, you probably saw some stars, right? And you're thinking, what are those stars? They don't look like bearings too much. Uh, well, actually, I was watching a video Angus was doing and he was mentioning the one-way bearing. And I got excited and I'm like, well, that sounds really interesting, I'm going to take a whack at it. So I designed a couple bearings, I did some tests, and I'm thinking, well, I don't really see a use for them in any application that I was doing. So uh, I was like, well, I'll put it on the side, we'll see what happens. Then a couple days pass, and uh, I see a video on uh, the NASA wrench, if you guys have seen that. Uh, and I was thinking, well, that's an interesting design, but it's like a one-way thing, you know. I'm not tripping, you guys did a great job. Uh, but it got stuck in my head, so as time, as time went on, I'm thinking, NASA wrench, one-way bearing, NASA wrench, one-way bearing, and then it hit me. I can make a one-way bearing wrench, and better than that, I can make a, a one-piece print ratcheting wrench, right? So <laughs> what I did is I went to the design board and I made this thing, half a wrench, and uh, it sort of worked. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but I, I saw that the potential was there. And I was like, this is a great idea, I'm going to work on this. So, uh, I sat there on my uh, iPad and I drew a couple iterations of design, basically. And I tested them to see which one would work. So, and then uh, I got this to work, basically. The, the bearing would stop and go. So, I really liked that. I went ahead and I printed the whole thing as a single wrench. And what I also did was, I added the same things here on the inside. That way, if you're bearing breaks for whatever reason, you still got a usable tool, you're not just going to throw it away. Uh, so yeah, but the thing about this one is, I printed it, and uh, it just spun freely. So one thing I learned is, the profile that you have for your PLA, or whatever you're printing with, is actually really important, because because this profile was wrong, it kind of uh, didn't extrude enough material, so it has uh, basically less contact than it should. Uh, but anyways, uh, at the same time, I had a couple other iterations of this posted on there, and uh, a guy on Thingiverse, uh, Workflow, I believe, uh, he actually printed a couple of my stuff, and he gave me some feedback, which is great, because I love feedback, it helps me improve on things. And uh, through his advice, and through some working, I redesigned the bearing, basically, on the center ring, and got a little different design. Uh, we had uh, more of a longer path, and one less bearing wheel. And he also mentioned a little, making it a little thicker might make the handle more rigid. Because this one's a little bit flexible. So um, I did those things, and then I also realized while I was designing that, that adding that millimeter on each side also gave the bearing wheels more contact with the sidewall. And that is what helped it uh, stop better. So check this out. This is newly, freshly printed last night. I was just now able to get there and make a video. Uh, but yeah, this is a uh, fully functional ratcheting wrench. So NASA, keep an eye out if you guys need it. Uh, it's reversible. I mean, literally, like, check this out. It stops. And then if you reverse it, it goes to the other side. It spins. So basically, you can go this way. And then if you need to unscrew it, you go this way. And I chose uh, 8 millimeters and 10 millimeters. Uh, just because those sizes are the most common and the ones I lose the most. So, if you need it, here's a replacement. Uh, free to download on Thingiverse, like I said. Uh, and hey, if you like what I'm doing, feel free to like my video, share it, subscribe to my channel. And if you guys are feeling really generous today, you can donate via PayPal link that I have set up on my page there. Because remember, I do this stuff for free and I post it so you guys can join in on the fun. But I can't do everything for free, so if you guys could help out, I would appreciate it. Alright, so keep on printing and have a good day.